brief overview of the AWS Insurance Lake Solution Accelerator. So what is it? Think of the four C's as I call it. You want to collect all your data and store it in S3. You want to cleanse and curate your data. You want to consume your data, access it, and you want to ensure your data is secured and regulatory compliant. You want it to be easily auditable for both uh, yourselves and any auditors. What we did with Insurance Lake is we created realistic, synthetic workers' comp, commercial auto, and term life insurance policy and claims data. We then fed those uh, data sets into dashboards, uh, links of which uh, will, are, can be found here, and we will put the links uh, in the description. So you can access these QuickSight uh, dashboards and get a sense of how little um, amounts of data is required to populate these deep dashboards, roughly 30 data elements, and it allows you to drill down to the policy level from an aggregated set of KPIs, such as combined ratio down to region, state, city, and insured. So Insurance Lake, uh, with the dashboards, with the synthetic, synthetic data, does this. You start, uh, as indicated, number one in the top left with four different types of data formats. Our synthetic data is in batch data file formats. Other file formats that can be added in the future as needed uh, is change data capture data files from your core uh, policy billing CRM systems, for example. When records are inserted, updated, or deleted, the transaction logs, as they're called, of those systems can be monitored and small files with the insert, update, or delete information can be sent to insurance like. Also, obviously, accord forms or medical forms on your unstructured data, your PDFs, can be uh, extracted. Metadata can be tagged to them, and that can be sent to insurance like as well. And then lastly, streaming data, uh, IoT device data. So all that will go uh, into Insurance Lake, where it is collected, cleansed, and curated. And then the consumption side, over at number three here, you can have self-service data access, whether that's ad hoc queries, whether that's via APIs for insurance in a box type functionality. You can have your BI tools, uh, as well as machine learning to products such as SageMaker and you can use your data. And additional data lakes or data stores or graph databases such as Customer360 could also be a target or a consumer of Insurance Lake's data. So Insurance Lake itself, down at these bullet points, it's made up of these eight AWS services, all serverless. You pay only when you use them. You don't have to install them. You don't have to configure and monitor and worry about scaling them or upgrading them. They just run and you pay only as you use them. There's no licensing. You just install Insurance Lake in 30 minutes and you're up and running. With your own data, we typically can take your data, create these spec files, which I'll go into in a moment, and have your data loaded uh, in about an hour. So install in a half hour, get your data in an hour. The lines of code, which uh, really makes it tangible, it's all Python or PySpark. We use the AWS Cloud Development Kit, which allows us to build these installation files in a much smaller manner than traditional uh, script files such as Terraform or CloudFormation. It's really a uh, five to one or sometimes 10 to one ratio. It decreases the amount of code that you have to write and it allows your developers, your IT staff to work in a familiar integrated development environment such as VS Code. The Insurance Lake business logic itself, the Insurance Lake files, the third bullet, we have about 1,270 nine lines of Python code that has grown as we've added more transforms, which again, I'll touch briefly on in a second. You can deploy changes as a result of our dev SecOps tooling to your dev test or prod environment uh, in less than five minutes. 
There are three small spec files, which I'll cover in the next slide, and the cost. We ingested 500,000 records uh, per day. If you do that for 20 business days a month, the cost is $33 a month. So it's extremely inexpensive. Uh, it takes about two and a half minutes to ingest that data, to collect, cleanse, and curate, uh, and get it to the consumption layer. So what about those spec files? So on the top here on the left, we have a mapping file. It's a CSV file. Then we have a transform file. It's a JSON file. Data quality file, another JSON formatted file. And lastly, some SQL files. So the mapping file, it's nothing more than two columns of data separated by a comma. The first one is your source data uh, file column names. The second one is your custom column names. That's your data dictionary, you define it. That's your standardized set of data columns. You create a mapping file for every incoming data file type. Then we move down to transform. That's where you transform your data. You standardize your dates. You convert all the numbers such as written premium and earned premium to a decimal format. You can redact your data. You can tokenize it and secure your data in different ways. You can extract pieces of the, of the data element out and, and clean it up. So all kinds of things and you can create your own custom transforms easily. The data quality file, this is where you apply data quality rules to ensure things like your effective date is less than your expiration date. All of your policy numbers and your claim IDs, they are populated. There are no empty values. Perhaps your claim IDs from your TPAs Somebody's putting in one, two, three, four. You need to standardize that and have a, a good valid claim ID because you know uh, that's a problem that you're seeing. You can easily add that data quality rule into this uh, JSON based data quality file. And lastly, your SQL files. So over on the right, you can see the cleanse to consume stage. So that's the last step. That's our second glue job. The first glue job is collecting all the data, cleansing and curating it listed up here. The second one is our cleanse to consume, which creates your final data products, your tables and your views. And these are nothing more than SQL statements stored in .sql files. All of this is loaded up into S3. You drop your file in the collect bucket and then the entire process runs. And these files are the instruction sets that tell insurance like what to do. This is how we've kept it simple, kept the lines of code down and made it easily accessible via power users to be able to monitor. We're going to make Insurance Lake even simpler in the future by putting UIs on top of all these files, and then most any business user will be able to maintain and load, cleanse and curate, and consume their data. So any further questions, we'll have more information in the description of this video. Thank you.